Hello there. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this amazing snake style animation in Adobe After Effects. Kinetic Type Series. Today we are going to learn how to do this kind of animation in different resolutions. For example, this is more has more density to it. And for that we need to learn how to work with grids and snapping so let's jump into it we are going to work in this composition and it is a square format composition 1280 per 1280 50 frames per second that's to gain in flow and fluidity so let's hit ok and the first thing that we need to do if we go here to view and activate or, or make the grid visible you see that it's a bit of a mess so we need to deal with that here in edit preferences grids and guides okay you hit here and the thing that we need to change is the subdivisions they need to be set to one and then here in grid line every we write the resolution of our comp here and we divide it by the number that we that we want the grid to be set on so for example let's say 12 and whenever I hit OK here the grid is going to fit perfectly both horizontally and vertically to this format if you have let's say a 16 per 9 format you are going to have a grid that fits very well in one axis but not in the other and another thing that you need to understand is that grids in After Effects project they work through the different you know compositions as one so the next thing that we need is we are going to click on the pen tool here okay to select it and in view super important you need to have this option activated the snapped to grid option here okay so let's start just creating and the thing is that if you go closer to the edges here let's change this so that it's like just a stroke let's erase the fill and you can keep going and let's say that you for example you click in another thing around and you are afraid that you cannot keep going so you select the layer where you were creating your path and you can click here and it's going to keep going okay so and if you miss a point let's say that you click here you can go over the, that point and move it around with the cursor okay so we are going to be able to uh, change the, the, the path after creating it so I'm going to keep going so now I'm going to change the the width of the stroke here so that it's more interesting visually and also I'm going to add something that I like which is here in add around corners effect and I can set it so that it's pleasing to the eye so I'm going to click here and keep going okay This is for me super satisfying because it is so easy. So let's let's make it wrong. Let's click here, and you can see that whenever I know I'm on top of this point, I can move it with the cursor. So it's no, it is no problem at all. And the the game was all about not colliding with the the the, the snake itself because that was the end of the game. So now I'm going to add some points to, to create something more dense here. So for example, I can make the path go through this space here. So if I put the pen on top of the path, you see this super tiny plus sign. If I click here, I'm adding points. So now it's a matter of moving these points so that they fit perfectly or accommodate perfectly to the grid. So that was that. Next step is going to be very easy. Here in Add or 
also here this is the same button okay we have a thing that is called trim paths we click to generate one and if we open here we are going to deal with the end aspect of it so let's say that we want this to have a duration of six seconds I stop the playhead there and I generate the first keyframe or the last keyframe in this case and if I go to the beginning I can set it to zero and let's preview the animation and you see that we just made our amazing snake style animation so I encourage you to play with different things like with the density of the grid with the speed of the animation you can also obviously play with the curves of your animation and there are so so many possibilities even like making this looking as a text or less complicated you can make like a letter out of this so I'm very keen to to watch your results and I hope this helped you in any way shape or form so until the next one and have some real fun Kinetic 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 Kinetic